We're going to start today's video here. Uh, we're in White Sands and we're at a place called the White Elephant. Uh, this is probably a success story uh, because it survived throughout the uh, lockdown. When I actually um, came here uh, the last couple of times, this was always open. The one next door, Paddy's, that's not open. But for the moment, I think those guys have moved to 15 Palms, which is just further down the road on the left hand side. Um, one of the things about last night, uh, which was interesting, pretty much White Sands is pretty pretty quiet. Uh, but uh, just further past going this way, where we were, the, those bars were, I wouldn't say they were busy, but there was quite a bit of um, life going on there. Also, um, last night I was speaking to the, the lady, the lady who I kind of briefly interviewed, and she told me, um, she asked where we were staying, um, and now they don't know the name Blue Haven, because where we're staying, the Blue Haven Resort, 12 months ago used to be called Siam Royal View. Now they changed the name because they believe that the word royal was putting people off going there, um, thinking that it's a private residency, and it isn't. You can actually, even if you are um, just staying here uh, for a holiday somewhere else, you can actually go there for, to use the restaurants. They are open to the public. Yes, there is a pri private residence there, which we will go through today, actually. But she said to me last night, she said, oh, Siam Royal View, Ko Chang's number one hotel, number one. That's what the lady said, not me. Thank you. Okay, this is the White Elephant breakfast. Um, it's 185 baht. Um, you've got uh, bacon, sausage, two sausages, scrambled egg. I, I always like scrambled egg. One thing I don't get with a lot of breakfast is uh, potato. Is that an American thing? I don't know. Um, plus then you've got toast, butter, jam, beans. And I asked for a pot of tin tomatoes. This is uh, what I like. Uh, so yeah, this total, 185 baht. Right, it's time to show you where we're staying. The, the building here, um, on your right hand side, this is called Marina Sands. We were given a choice when we got here. We can stay in different places, but we, we chose this one uh, because it's near to the edge. Now, originally, there was there's one, two of them. They were built um, as to sell as condos, but it didn't quite work out. So they basically turned it into a hotel. I'll show you the, the back end, our views. And then just over there, we've got a marina. We'll go over there and I'll show you the room. The room is just, it's huge, it's spectacular. Right now, this is our view, what we've got um, from, from up here. Uh, there's all this seating here you can lounge out in. Um, this is, I, I mean, I don't know what the name is for that, for this. It's like a, is it estuary? Basically, the, uh, this goes off to the sea and the um, catamarans and the yachts come up here and then they, they uh, park in the um, marina over there. Welcome to our little hum humble abode. Come in. So this is the lounge that's kind of like open plan. Um, you've got a dining table here and a kitchen on this side with everything what you need already in here. Um, ignore this here, which is uh, the nerve center, Dan Dan the cameraman, with his, uh, his editing. He's had to bring his computer along, by the way. Um, this is two bedrooms, this. So this bedroom, really nice size. Very, very comfortable mattress. I must say, I need to buy one of them for my condo because that mattress, I, I just molded into it uh, last night. Always makes a big difference with a good mattress. A little balcony on the bedroom. This one is the second bedroom. Now, I'm not sure, they both seem the same size bedrooms to me. So it's not like there's one master bedroom and one um, kind of box room, but they're both, um, they're both about the same size. This is the bathroom. And this is an incredible size bathroom. The shower unit behind the glass um, it's like you've got to walk to get your soap. <laughs> it's so big. You've got everything you need here. And also the maid comes in every single day. There's plenty of towels. There's, um, you know, all the soap you need, the shampoo, the conditioner. Now, just by our accommodation, by, by the hotel, is um, the marina. Uh, these yachts here, 
Uh, it's not unusual, by the way, in Thailand. I know at least two or three people maybe in uh, Pattaya that own yachts. And they do take them out to places like this. So this is where you would come, or, you know, the, the rich would come and park their yachts. Maybe one day, maybe one day. Right, here in our accommodation, we also have an infinity pool. By the way, I've never been up here yet, so I don't know what it looks like. I was told there was an infinity pool. Let's go. But yeah, there's a, a little pool here. There's, God, there's uh, no idea how many pools there is at this place. There's many, many. We'll go and see some of them. The price. What is the price of our room? Um, by the way, remember, we haven't paid for that. We got given it as a complimentary. It is 4,500 baht per night. That is, that might sound expensive, but if it's a family, it's a good deal. You know, forget all the family in, or maybe two couples. Um, it's not so bad, particularly for, you know, the, the outstanding beauty and the, the quality of that accommodation, 4,500 baht. Now, if you come this way, here, um, this is a nine hole golf course. It is the only golf course on Koh Chang Island. We've come to the very front, uh, the, the beach house, uh, where we were in yesterday's video, where we had the food. Um, this is the peninsula here. And by the way, this is not the whole of it. This is not the whole of it at all. You know, on this, I'm not, I can't even see the golf course, which is on this side here. Um, right, okay, so beach club. This is where we are now. Um, it says here, we are, we are here. Um, you've got the iconic swing, which is just over there. That is iconic, by the way, because I've seen it in many Instagram pics. You've got kayaking, you can do kayaking, and there's also, I'm pretty sure there's canoeing as well. There's a secondary swing. Um, this lonely tree, everybody talks about this lonely tree. The lonely tree out in the uh, bay. Pier, um, swimming pool. The swimming pool is just behind me, and, and it, it's massive, that swimming pool. It's like an Olympic sized swimming pool. Um, but as you can see, the whole, a lot of, now a lot of people actually um, live around here. So there is a lot of residential homes. And then what we're gonna do in the next video, we're gonna show you around one of these homes that are for sale. The, the price goes from 9.25 million baht. In yesterday's video, I said, I'm not sure if it's two or three bays. It is definitely three bays because this is a, a peninsula. I'm not sure what this one is called. Uh, the, the one we were at yesterday was called Shambhala, Shambolic, Shambhala, uh, and then you've got the Blue Haven Bay. But I'm not sure the name of this bay here, I'm pretty sure it's got a name, but it's got a pier as well. Right, well that was just a little bit about what is here. I'm spending, I've had one night here, I'm spending just two nights here, and it's so vast that in two nights I can't possibly um, show everything. But in the next one, I'm going to show you the um, the houses that are for sale here because there is residence here, and what normally happens is people buy and then they give back um, to Siam Royal View to to lease them themselves. So that's how you, if you I will leave um, details in, in the description box um, so you can find out the prices yourself. You can email them; they'll send you prices per night because there's so many different types of accommodations here. Um, I I'll be honest, I love it where we are. I think it's great, um, but you can get places here on the beach as well. And those houses are absolutely stunning. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one.